Nucros, 2015, Descroxinus. Nowadays, the US government can listen to anything you say. They know where you are. They know who you're talking to, and trust me, they know who you're fucking. You turn on a cell phone or computer, you're, you're doomed. But in Colombo in 1989, it wasn't that easy. First off, there was no internet, no cells. The best they had was satellite phones. In order to catch a satellite phone, you fly directly over it. On top of that, the only people who had sat phones were filthy rich, landowners, politicians, and lucky for us, the Nacos. Richer than them all. What's up, Lizard? We're going out tonight. Once you got a signal, you didn't know who you were listening to. That's why back then, the US government developed software to identify the voices of our targets. I got poison at 400 to 1700 megahertz, gentlemen. No GPS, please. Hammer, prepare to engage. Once we got a target, we still hard to locate it. We had to tr- triangulate this signal using assets on the ground. Okay, he's in Madolia. He's on the west side. Hokai, how do you copy that? How do you copy that? Can you be more specific? Two units are standing by. Let's disperse the Enora. We've got a tablet you already. Show up around midnight. It's going to be raining women. Poison didn't know, but he just made himself a date. Negative on Hammer. It's Fuckwood. He just told us where he's going. Hammer disengaged. So who are we going to... Do we give this to? DNA? Yeah. Let's give it to Java. Peter. Peter is an arsehole. I'm going to give it to the other guy, sure. By the other guy, he meant me. I'm Steve Murphy, Drug Enforcement Office agent. As you can see, I'm deeply embedded in Colombia. Hello, poison, departing at a Desperara. Got it. He's meeting Lizard. Arrest them at midnight tonight. Okay. I would love to go after poison myself, but DAA is restricted into a foreign country. So, I just had to... what. So I did what you do. I called the cops. Hello there. The Desperados, all right? Guess who that was? Your partner. He just gave me a great. He just gave me a great gift. Poison. So do you know how I'm going? I'm going to package. Package it. Yeah, sure. You know the fall. Gotta go. They stick me the bill. Got some cheap son of a bitch. In case you're wondering, this is the arsehole, Jeeva Petra, my partner. This is the Colonel Calero, the leader of Search Block. You didn't we help create to capture the bad guys. Boy, did he have a lot of love for Nikos. Potty time in zone of Rista. Everybody goes there, especially the Fergal Pitmen. Colombians call them Sikros. What's up, son? Hey, brother. Let's go inside and have a good time. Our poison, he's one of the best. Crazy motherfucker who killed dozens of people. Probably hundreds. But don't get me wrong. I would send Carlo, Carlolo, even if a poison never failed to fly. I don't have a lot of love for the Nikos either. So it's on, it's on boys. We're going to stop on the 14th. Go around the corner. Rick, Reno, Tricola, you're in front of me. Skelis and see where you'll take up the rear. Yes, sir. You got it, boys? We're going to go up and we're going to go with, with everything we've got. We're going to kill those fuckers, all right? Yes, sir. I wouldn't blame you if you held me responsible for this bloodbath. Yeah, I push the buttons. Don't call me a bad guy just yet. My fellow Americans, take Richard Nixon, for instance. People forgot about 47 Americans voted for Nixon. We thought he was one of the good guys. The Nixon fought with Chilean General Pinkott. He was a good guy because he hated the commies. We helped Pinkott seek power. And then Peacock turned around and killed thousands of people. Maybe not as much a good guy after all. Sometimes bad guys do good things. Nobody knows this, but back in 73, to use his way of being the world's biggest cocaine processing and sporting centre. How many times do I have to tell you not to waste the acid? They had deserts to hide. The labs and piles of unpatrolled coastline shipped the product north. To be productive... You can't waste money. Come on, you're surrounded. Hands up. Everything you need but poker kits. Call the party. What the fuck is going on here? On the ground, he shut down 33 labs and arrested 346 drug dealers. 
and then being poker he had them all had them killed attention weapons ready aim ready ammunition fire they say when the nuclear the holocaust destroyed the world the cockroach will survive i guess they were right but it's miss metro metro room aka okay, cockroach he's one enough to bleed play dead he wasn't killed on that day he said he won the damn robbery cockroach had been stealing the bosses for months but he's left alone in the world with perfect product a product it was only create, creates its own demand. Start packing. You have to leave the country. Packing pockets is killing the whole world. But you're not a communist. No, I'm not a communist. So you were a truck trafficker. Truck trafficker? Yes, a truck trafficker. Back then, we were finding out the effects of cocaine, human brain. There isn't much. We knew all. We all knew, we knew it was some pretty powerful shit. It gave us some better results. It gave better results. Okay, cocaine ejects the pleasure centers of the brain. A rat will choose cocaine over food and water. It will choose cocaine over sleep, over sex, life itself. The human brain isn't quite the same as rodents. Let's be talking about cocaine. Cockroach knew perfect product. He just needed to smuggle it to right markets. Gracias. The best smugglers in the world were in Colombia. Welcome, Colombia. Like godly dogs. They have three options. Pay attention. And all three are important to this story. George and Fabio and the Holmes. Typical Colombian smuggling family. They are smart and rich, solid. The cockroaches felt their high life and it made them too soft. Another possible partner was Joseph Rogers, Garcia, nicknamed the Mexican. We love the tequila and Silveros. He dominated an emerald smuggling routes. Emeralds of pretty trade pretty trade even by Colombian standards if you make it to the top it means you've killed many of your enemies hey partner what are you doing here and put a hatch of partners coach is worried that emerald trade may gut you too hard man coach which knew knew would be just right yeah you guessed it Pablo Escobar the man who changed my life forever Pablo making a kid in the smuggling business to rich how cold marijuana you name it a time Pablo and half a piece of Benadana but DS with Colombia was based on well, version of the FBI. They didn't play by the same rules. Good day. Probably as of our West Fred Verpo. We have been arrested. Oh shit. Verpo works for me. He used to work for you, but now he's going to jail. What about what do you think about that? Do you know who you're talking to? Shut the fuck up. I wasn't talking to you. Relax, Gazono. Please. Please. It shows some respect. Now, what's the problem, Mr. Jezulus? What do you know? My, how do you know my name? Well, Colonel Jezulus de Sahara. That's Colonel Lebezia. Los Garcia Lopez. Yes, Pina. Yes, Pina. Pina. Yeah, Pina and Pina. Pina is a spatterizer. Don't give us rat's ass. Open the fucking trucks. Turn them all day. Open it. Tell me something, Mr. Etzabar. Who the fuck do you think you are? You don't even bother to hide your crown around. Because I pay for privilege, Colonel. Oh, yeah? You don't say. Where are your, pap- where are your portfolio papers? You need papers for those TV sets? Take them. Sorry, Mr. Escobar. We're not the men of a police making a shit salary. Look, brother. You're not for you. Then who is for Carlos, the son? Would you like a TV room? Hey, Pena. Oh, George is just the driver's license, right? I got some of uh, those car stereo systems in there. They look really cool, nice, real nice. Friend of yours, Lopez. You got a wife. It's really beautiful, right? She's a fox. Yeah, your wife is gorgeous, brother. What are you gonna do with a guy like you? I think she deserves some jewelry. No, why don't you? Do I have my boy drop off a few gifts? Colonel, how is your mother doing? She's got to go, she's got her out of hospital, right? She feeling better? Good. That makes us happy, right? Yes, Grand Roman. I'm going to tell you who I am. Pablo Emlo Estebal Gravia. My eyes are everywhere. It means you guys can't move a finger at all. Their curler without me knowing about it. Do you understand? Not a finger. One day, I'm going to be president of the Republic of Colombia. So look, I'll make a deal for living. Make deals for living. Now you can stay calm and accept my deal or accept the consequences. Silver or lead. You decide. Let me go. Let me go. All right then. Oh, yo, Pablo. This is Pablo. Hello. Nice to meet you, Motel Monroe. No, no, cockroach to my friend. Wait, yesterday we were talking. 
I think this business can make us a lot of money. Blaine, I knew I well got well I got the paste in Peru. I handed it the chemical plant of production. All the other details of producing the, the secreted point powder. Well, I need for you to help me get it into Colombia. Now tell me how much it costs. Chili, a little thing costs ten bucks a gram. They they sell it by grams. Yes, it's very good. Look, you do a little bit. In twenty minutes, you know you want to do some more. The digestive aid take makes you want to take a shit. It's all very clean and stuff. What some? This is really good. That good? We can make some money. We can find room in our trucks. We can sell it at Bucot, Bancola, Cali, Catrena. We're going to be rich. Well, did you say your name was Cockroach? Well, look, Kersha, you don't have any vision. Don't have any vision, my friend. It costs ten dollars a gram. Can you imagine how much you sell it for in Miami? I love that song, Rico Rodo. One more. Back there, Miami is a paradise. I signed up for the sand, surf and women. In 79, the bad guys was chasing wolf flip-flops. DEA stopped. The young DEA agent was partly the main. Buddy, Kevin Brady, Kevin Brady. Kevin was a little slow of foot. Why are you running? Huh? What you got? What is this? Huh? What is that? You're right there in a goddamn pro promotion. Let's go celebrate. Whoa, take a look at that. Go, go. How do you look like? Do you look? How do you like me now? How much do you, money do you owe me? What happened to the money you owed me last week? That's right, that's right, all right. Right, how do we do we pick about her? No, no, we've got to fuck with him. Oh, yes, let's mess with his head. Oh, right there, see her at a bar, which one? Blue top, blonde hair. That's his type. Oh, strike. She's hot, all right. Well, Murph, Sparrow, three o'clock. Hey, while you were walking back, you're checking your arse out. She's checking out your arse. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Listen. She eye fucked you the entire time you're bowling. She was. She's eye fucking you. The entire time. I'm serious. I'm serious. Look at her. Uh huh. Look, look at this type. Talking about this blonde one. No, the other one. Of course, the blonde one. She's the hardest one there. She's your type. You're checking me around. Fuck it. I'm going in. Go get her. Yum, yep. Hey, while you're up there, get, get us another picture, will you? Place yourself. Look at him. Look at his swagger. How are you doing, busy? I said, look, you wanna, don't want to be here. Don't have to be. There's no one forcing you to do anything. So I don't know if it, so I don't know, yeah. This bastard got me, but I couldn't let it end like that. Well, excuse me? See those other guys over there? Oh, they're fucking with me. Telling me that you're checking out my arse. And who checks a cop's arse, right? You're a cop? Not a cop, really. I'm DNA. Drug enforcement. So you're the one making m- pot more expensive. Come on, why don't you do me a favour? Why don't you show these guys up? Why don't you uh, give me your phone number? How about a fake number? Don't work. Hey, buddy. You got a pen? I'm sorry for the trouble. That's sure. Oh, good night. Oh, shut down. Where's the picture, huh? Picture? Didn't make, make it back with the picture. I just come up with this. I couldn't read it. What does that say? Read it and wait. I'll give you that. How much did that cost you? That was just, that's your handwriting. It's not my handwriting. So you don't want the hell. Well, it's not what could happen. I wake up with your grandmother. So grandma in Boca. Hello? So it wasn't fake. I thought we might figure it out. I was all your DNA. Just like that she had that just like she had me. The minute Pablo laid his eyes on the pasta processing labs in Peru, cocaine had him. It's been a while. Your friend my friend Pablo Pablo Gastaro. Would you like a little coffee? Yeah, a coffee, yes a coffee. How about you, Pablo? No, you sure? I fact she's small but highly productive. Look. You're pressing the leaves. I like these children because they're tiny feet. Little magic leaves. The kerosene separates the drug from the leaf. Over here is a sulfuric acid that seals and that seals and distills it. Then they cut it and mix it with gasoline. They basically they put the medicine dice out of liquid. Let it dry, let it dry, and use ammonia. You get the paste and here it is. Putty. Tasty, but pure. Here's the prize, like the kitchen in your house, a baking cake, and a much better cake than you ever had. Look at old pressed antique. Now we've got to put it in the oven. There is one. The other will follow. All natural, garlic and healthy. Very good. Well, take a kilo, a whole kilo. 
Thirty no. You sent a kilo. They take five. How do you get five across the border? The scavio's compartment. This one's gonna be got a good engine. Go and look at it. Best place to hide a mechanism. Merchandise. It'll be under the wheel 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 well well. It's twenty two and one horse to half horsepower. Is it easy to take off? E don't worry about that shit. You stick five kilos in there easy. All right. You're right. I'll take three cars, please. Make sure. Sure, when do we need, need them then? Well, brother. All right, mate, take the cars and head back to the lab. Why the fuck are we going to get... How, why the fuck are we going to the lab? Back to the lab, because they have four wheel wells per car. 220 kilos for three cars. 60 kilos. But it's $9 profit per gram. That's $9,000 for a kilo. 9000 Times sixty, the profit is fifty five hundred forty thousand. That's it. How do you know? Do you know how to drive crop roach? Yeah. Okay, Pablo I drive fast. Half a million dollars per trip. Using the same smuggling routes he always use. Easiest money you ever made. Back in Medellia, Pablo didn't waste any time. He bought a house in his own neighborhood. Over needs a first lab to turn Bruce face cocaine cocaine powder. How are you feeling, Casono? All this smells like shit to me. What a different bastard. It's like French cheese. You think a little better. Right, what about those lights? Is that the tip of the cops or that? Is that a tip off to the light cops or what? Just worry about transporting stuff and selling it. I'm artist here, clear? Clear. Mm, right, um, mm. It's mum and dad, pop operational. So small, they call it the kitchen. But make no mistake, it would change my leader forever. You know the thing that was me worried, Pablo? Don't you know, think the workers would choke all that smoke that's built on the chimney? There you go, children. The first, first three is better to make so much money. Why are you sending me? Why, why are you sending me coach? Just start it up. So don't just be. We're here to be. We have to be careful with money. Don't be dick. No, don't give me that dumb shit. Come on. How much can a first class ticket cost? I don't know. Why did you buy your child? I think her son, Pablo's mother, had the murder. It was very resourceful. Hi, hey, Mum. Hey, Mum. How much do you think you would fit in here? About five kilos, honey. And that, that much? Trust me, Pablo. I love it. Love it. Let's do it, Pablo. Thank you, my love. It's Gasso. Five kilos, right? Pablo loved his young boy, Tata. She loved him. He was a family man all, 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 to the end. The guy who got to wear the jacket was a lion. Meet my friend. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, Pablo. This is a lion. He's a friend of Gusto, who spent his child in the United States. Says he wants to fly across first class. Not like, not like we're rich, right? Pablo Escobar Gavila. Who are you, lion? Pleased to meet you, lion. Here's free. We're going to meet me soon more, right, ma'am? That's right, Pablo. Make sure not, not who wears is not to you where's it okay look my love and not fit me try it on come here what well, that's it good night one two hold, I'll hold it three two more got it i'll be right back he looks really handsome doesn't he doesn't he listen lion that ticket fits you very nicely yeah excuse me excuse me madam can you just sit jack it a little bit out in the back here in the back okay look at this guy looks very handsome son like a fag model is that right the lion was one of the first guys to bring coke to Miami. Welcome to the United States, thank you. Have a nice day. Now next, next please. Contact with a little crazy... Make contact with a little crazy nut job called Carlos Ledia. Half Colombian, half German. 100% playboy. Big fan of John Lennon. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Go figure. Back in 1979, this piece of work flying bales of grass from up from Colombia to a fleet of... Sm- but on those meat, more planes. What's up? What's up, my son? Welcome. Thanks a lot. How are you? Everything's good. Good. Everything's good. Wow, it's so hot. What the hell are you doing with a jacket on? You like, you like my jacket, brother? I got it in Colombia. Look, it was a little gift in the jail for a while. Remember, I saw the shit there. Oh, it's pure poison. What you, what you got there is a perfect product. Carlo says the green guys will fall in love with this shit. Gonna fuck up their brains. That's for sure. Yes, sir. Here you go. There, go on. Here are five kilos. Where are you going? I'm going to get another jacket, brother.
We meet in the same time tomorrow, right? Lion made one more than twenty flights between Medallion and Miami. Drugs in, cash out. A rich and famous Miami saw his every gram of single gram of it. At no time Pablo had to place his truck cars with trucks. Brazilio had trucks filled with the brim of potatoes, major item Colombia and Puerto Peru. Didn't even have to bribe the crops for coat pace was hidden and bare tires. Tire each tire would fit about twenty kilos. Twin trucks, twenty kilos each, each going back and forth every day. You do the math. In no way the lion could transport it all. Pretty soon the lion had to come up with new ways to smuggle the drug to Miami. Breeze takes didn't don't have holes, didn't have a horse button. Guys of the pilots they had to get this stuff by without a problem. Look look it look it's one hundred fifty thousand pound dollar per kilo. So whatever you want, you take four. All right, much better. Take these two and tell Jaro to give you two more. Perfect. Thank you very much. See you later. Later. Please come in, please. Look, here's the jackets. You take a packet, you dip in, in the oil and swallow it. Every anyway, right? Easy, right? You swallow 50, I'll pay you $10,000. All right, but for you with two, we have a problem. Your girl is pregnant, right? That's good, because you as customs doesn't search pregnant women. You two can easily swallow 70 to the 50. You pay your fifteen thousand dollars to help you. I pay you fifteen thousand dollars to help you with the kids. All right, all right, perfect. During the early eighties, most flights out to Bill Box, got a many mil, several mills of them. Didn't even know about each other. I had all you know about what getting in, getting in was easy because nobody worried about cocaine in America. All we worried about, about was grass. Pizza and the cocaine was hidden amongst every legitimate. He had an enormous every legitimate clump of reservoir. Fish, coffee, flowers, rubber hoses, is everything. Even that we didn't even that we didn't didn't do it. The real game changer was filling left field planes of coke instead of weed. We trust this guy I don't know. He was in prison in the United States. He was gay and what? Well sure he's gay. As what well, as not he's got he's got good roots. Amigos, good hello, Carlos. Gavia Gasaro Gavia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, my cousin, Pablo Alvar Estabar Gavia. Nice to meet you, cousin. Nice to meet you. It was your, how was your flight smooth? Let's get down to business. Lion well, tells me you're transporting a lot of marijuana in your plane. That's true. How much for a flight? How far? Miami. Somewhere around 100 kilo, 1,000 kilos. 1,000 kilos cutting the progressive Yes, yes. But you take out the seats, the carpet, and all the other crap. And then you leave space for pilot. Can you fit more? We leave the engine, right? How much more? They're about 300 more. All right, then, Mr. Collins. Let me, let's take a walk. Been there many out of months after meeting Cockroach. Five was established in the first of the Nico routes from Columbia to America. Real milestone, a story in narcotics, folks. When men and Pablo closed the kitchen, started moving the cocaine labs in the middle of the jungle. Under the canopy, cover the Colombian rainforest to explain, expand its product production capability indefinitely without anybody noticing it. You bought your little present, Brazilians. Best assets in the world, believe me. No, I'm, I'm not feeling well. What's up, Cabrera? Hello, hello, Garcia. What the fuck is up with you guys? You're flying around in planes or rotting here in the jungle. Look, Garcia, look, let us explain what we have to wait. From now on, all my labs I build a large house with air conditioning. A pool. Hawes from Brazil. Hawes Brazil? Just for you. One problem. These are my labs. Hmm, relax. I was arguing with you. Come show me the production. We'll talk later. Pablo couldn't hide his success from his friends. They were violent, crazy, and filthy rich. Guys used to getting what they want. One way or another. Hey, yes. How something like this can make so much money? Now I ask myself. I could, should I get involved with this? And what do you think, Pablo? Pablo, heard the potato business is like, like the egg business. I don't. I couldn't get involved, not man. I made a good look. Took a good look at the market. Probably potatoes for Peru is easy, of course. Same old caravan routes. Remember, we were local guys. We could buy, but start buying potatoes at the same time. Peruvians will raise the price. They grow potatoes in Bolivia. We reduce the cost of the joining process. We buy together. Now, guys, the hard part is getting the merchandise to Miami. 
And he doesn't the credit not credit to me for that. How much would you charge us to be creative? You deliver the product we lay me labeled, I'll take it to Mammy and deliver it to your confet there. You better yet don't be able to do it. I'll charge fifty percent five percent of the sale value. I assure the safety of your load to up fifty percent of the value. You protect the business is ours. We don't we don't need a deal deal. The other sounds good to me. All right, I will create our own routes. Stop using on your surface as soon as possible. I bet we need nothing less, goes over. Partners, we know your policy towards partners. Let's just call us friendly associates to Mammy. To Mammy, we're a solid, a sort of kilo, one kilo grass bus for the cause of celebration. Before long, we have seizing 60 kilos of coke a day. We thought we were making a big, huge difference. True vision wasn't even making a dent. They may they let us have sixty so we could bring they could bring in six hundred. Perhaps the pitch flooded in. It didn't take long for Mammy to get addicted. So and I meant that. It was like the whole city was running around trying to get this shit. And the money became the violence. Hippies were replaced by Colombians. These guys didn't wear flip flops. The Mammy coroner said Colombians were like Dixie cops. Use them and throw them away. But they currently morgue was fit for all the bodies from the drug war. They had to rent a refrigerated truck from a local company to hold all the extra corpses. So the first person, that was the first person ever shot, a teenager old enough to buy a six pack. Hey, it's self defense, Kevin called you. He's worried about you. Then do you forget to tell you the kid was 17? Sells drugs, right? Yeah, yeah, that they were fucking. What happened? Going through, about to finish my shift when he got hit with lights and sirens, stayed with me. Unconscious, an unconscious pregnant woman, paranoiacs. He claps off his head up, got off a flight. By the time he got to us, he's barely breathing. Fault, per, per, pressure, 60, 40. Dilated pupils, rapid pulse. I knew she had overdosed on cocaine, but he did no registry or nostrils, no injection marks. We did everything we could. She died in the ER. We tried to save the baby. The baby died in my hands. I'm so sorry. I was body packing. Never... Your body pack looking 11 ounces of propylene cocaine. Toe of the pellet split open. 12 grams of bloodstream. Now I survived that. Why didn't let the Bevelo ever see me? I spent all this time wasting around. around. I spent all this time time wasting around for him. Tell me something, cockroach. Did you ever think you're going to find make this man much money? Fuck the money. I'm talking we go negotiation. If it wasn't for me, would I be still struggling cigarettes? Let me give you a piece of advice. Never say that to Pablo. No, you're not as forgiving as I am. Pablo's a fucking cockroach now. The fucking cockroach over. A cockroach should, should listen to Pablo. Indeed, he found another way to get his fair, fair share. Stop. But do you have it? Have any spare tyres? 390 kilos, Pablo. We lost it, though, so... What do you mean we lost it? As what we like I said, we lost it. We lost it? It just disappeared into the thin air walk. Don't miss me, Pablo. We lost it. it. Looks like the cops were just was to stop the guys from leaving Isabella. Isabella. Look, we paid every cop off from here to Isabella. So, how did we lose a load, brother? It looks like the Colonel had the error. Slowly, slowly turned on his. What, I, what, I know what happened. How much is he asking? Too much. What are you going to do? Come back, Pablo. Don't don't go to risk it for this arsehole. Come back. What are you going to do? What are you doing? Going, Pablo. Pablo, you're going. Oh, what's going on, brother? With Pablo Escobar, we need to renegotiate. Eat shit. What have you shot you in the head? You sure about it, Colonel? This Colonel, I haven't stopped laughing since he arrested him. He was deep bit deep out. DS Abra. That's a faggot gone gonna do. What's that faggot gonna do? Here we are, no, lower, lower. Not that low, ready? Ready, another one? Another one, I'm ready. Pablo didn't know it then, but this mug shot was gonna cause him a lot of grief down the line. Remove the head card. You've got to go now, officer. Sit down, Mr. Pablo. Carried more than 300 kilos in this trip. The street value of over $4 million, Mr. Escobar. Now give us $50,000. Well, that's what we agreed upon. You know something? I make deals for a living. You can you accept my deal, accept the contracts as you decide. Through no case shape, can agreement. Everyone goes unhappy. 
Deal? I'll give you one million dollars under one uh, one condition. What is it? Someone in my organization gave me the straight value of the cocaine. No voice. How will you know? Give me my name. You want to have to split the cash with him. So that cockroach was a real cockroach. I did it. Not only did he sell Pablo to the authorities, he's stealing from him all along. So they coat to Miami. Two, two cockroach dealer was Jimmy pa- Zapia. Colombian was plumbing business. It served the front for his cocaine operation. He had 1,200 1, 1, keys of a van. Guess who was buying the load? The plan was trade vehicles of Zapia. We were arrested once he left us port. 12,000 kilos. That's what we get us to cover the Miami. Uh, that would get us cover the Miami Herald. I can't get gross of plumbing business line. Here to, how, here's it, how does it look? Plumbing business is very good. Come on, Amigo. I'll show you. Everything is perfect, going perfect. Yeah, I said, Amigo, 100% pure. Set the Pablo was on, on to cockroach. Got in a full load here. But don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, get down. Don't look at me fucking in case of state. Florida, Jen Durgo does ass. The ten can all do considerations. Bell was sent by two million dollars, one or two hundred thousand. I got the cut as got to the cut as I need that they the cut his tail. My chest meat's gonna put bastards on death row. The S district attorney said a conjure Many bail for two million dollars paid by welfare. Why I trying further? Well, don't you know? Take a guess. The country boarded and back in Mandela by midnight. From 1979 to 1984, there are 3,325 murders in Miami. And inside the tourist borough, cops, no one much cared about that. What we've got about the US government to take notice was the money. Billions of dollars a year flowing from the US to Colombia, the mayors couldn't take. A couple of powerful business went and sent for with Reagan. They were terrified of Nico Kalman, which would sink the real company of Miami. So maybe they pissed. They were pissed off. They weren't getting the cut. Whatever it was, business came to the right time, just right time. Back to school time for American children. Time for America to suit up against a new enemy. Drugs are menacing our society. They're threatening our values and uncutting our institutions. They're killing our children. It's classic Reagan. Folks eat direct and fuff. If I had to go after drugs at the source, when Nancy's told the show. So my friend, friends out there, life can be great. But now, not, well, not when you can't see it. So open your eyes to life and see it with vivid colours. God's ever so precious gift to, to, to his children. Say yes to your life. When it comes to drugs and alcohol, say no. No, no, Pablo, no, no. They say that when a nuclear cross destroys the world, only cockroaches will survive. Leave this piece of shit here. I guess they're wrong. During the Cooney's career, Pablo would kill over a thousand cops. But I wouldn't dare and learn that till later. I advised volunteer to fight in World War Two for the Pearl Harbor. You f- do you think he knew everyone for me? Do no way. The West Virginia farm boy who these fuckers stepped and went, but these fuckers stepped on our soil. He laced up his army boats and went to fight. Duty cocaine in Miami. Kilos for Carlos, Colombia. This is my war. This is my duty. I was ready to fight it. My wife was ready to fight it with me too. We took it, please, okay. We had no idea where we were in for. A year later, all that patriotic bullshit was right out the window. Okay, man, what we got to go? What we got to do? Got we got poison? Peninsula? Who else? We got lizard. We also got bear, big bamba. What the motherfucker? Thank you for the gift, of agent. No problem. The one thing I learned about Nick Cobalt is the life is more complicated than you think. Good and bad, they're relative concepts. In the world of drug dealers, you do what you think is right and hope for the best. Look at what happened, what happened, boss. They killed poison the Mitterraro. Who did it? I think it was Carlo. Carlo. Yeah, Gringo, DNA agent, taking pictures, raised the bounty. Or Carlo, sir? I pay half a million for the head DEA agent. Half a million? Do it as you wish, sir. Fucking gringos.